In this video, you're going to learn how to SEO optimize your videos when you're uploading them so that you can appear at the top of the search results for the keyword or phrase that you are trying to rank for. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is upload your video. And before you do this, you actually want to make sure that the file name does actually include the keyword that you're trying to rank for. So for in this example, I've just typed in the title of the video into the file name here. And really, the keyword that I want to rank for is YouTube Analytics. So before you upload, do make sure that the title of your video is kind of set and that you have that keyword in there. That's really going to help you uh, with the ranking. So click to upload. Upload this from my desktop. And that's going to pull it up. And you can see that YouTube automatically pulls the file name and puts it as the title of the video. And that's why it's a good idea to have that set before you even upload it. Now, something that you might want to do is at this stage, just uh, you can schedule this video if you want. This is what I like to do so that I have a chance to make my custom thumbnail. And so I am just going to schedule this, say, for a day where and a time where I know that a lot of my audience are going to be online. Next thing that we want to do to SEO optimize our videos and appear at the top of the search results is to write a description. Now, when you're looking from from scratch, this can be a little bit difficult to do. So one tip is to come and have a look at some of the other descriptions that are shown in your competing videos. And that's something I should have mentioned as well about the title of your video. You really want to create the title of the video that's going to stand out from the other titles that are here. Imagine someone typing this into YouTube and scanning down the titles. You really want to create a title that is different, that's going to catch their attention and is that that's going to make them want to click on your video. So that's an important thing to do not only for the title, but also in the description. So you can scan then there to, to get some ideas if you want. Another little trick that I like to use to, to build this out quickly is to use what's known as a tag generator. And you can just type this into Google. You're going to see maybe a lot of options here. I'm going to show you how to do it with this tool, rapidtags.io. Often these these tools do change, so just find any one that you want if this is no longer working or turns into a premium tool. And this is pretty cool because what you just do is pop in the title of your video. And it's going to generate a number of tags for you. Now what these tags are, are essentially keywords or phrases that people could be typing into YouTube and you want to tell YouTube that my video is relevant to all of those. And so you really want to copy those and just paste them in as your tags. Now maybe we can copy all of them here. Yeah, copy. And they can paste in straight away. Now the cool thing about doing the tags first is that you can get a kind of an idea of how to write a description that includes all of these. Okay, so we could say how to grow your channel. By reviewing YouTube analytics. So people are really seeing it's essentially the title just rewritten another way and including these other things that people may be searching for. So increase subscribers, likes, comments, and uh, views and in YouTube analytics. So really what you want to be showing here is what are the benefits of watching this video? Because this is what people are going to see in the little snippet here. 
And so you really want to give people a reason to click through. They'll look at your title, they'll look at the the a description and the thumbnail and that's what they'll make the decision on whether they're going to click through and if it's better than competitors so you might see a lot of people putting a link just straight here to their website and that's actually a bit of a, a mistake because people are not watching the videos to click to your website they want to really learn about something in this case an educational type video so be sure to lead with the benefits and then you can say something like get the full course or click through to learn more, etc. and link off to your website. Now longer descriptions can be better, but there's no need to really overdo it. You really just want to make sure that you're getting that initial um, description that it looks good when they're going to click through. So that is pretty much it. I'm going to take a little bit of time to optimize this a little bit more, put in the link to my website, etc and maybe put in a coupon to the complete course. And I suggest you do the same link back to your website, the product page, if you're featuring a product, to a blog post, if there's more information there, um, etc. This is really important to include that link if you want to get them back to your website uh, in order to read your blog there or buy your product. Okay, so I've optimized that a little bit, put in a link to my website, etc. And now the next step is just to go ahead and publish that. And that is scheduled and it will be published on this particular date. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and upload your video and optimize it for the YouTube search engine following the steps that you've learned in this video.